Hey guys, it's Jules here. A lot of you have been asking how I do my hair every day. And a lot of you know from my past videos that I have pretty naturally curly hair. And um, as you can tell, I straighten it every day. And with doing that, you can often get a lot of damage. But I found a way that kind of saves my hair. And I feel like this can really help a lot of people. So honestly, the products I use are pretty expensive, and I'm just going to go out here and say that the expensive products, like, you get what you're paying for. Like, um, my shampoo and conditioner, that I'll start with, I use the Sink, what is this called? 5D Repair Technology Reparative Shampoo, and it's color safe and sulfate free, which is really important because I dye my hair a lot, and sulfate free since I get the keratin, um, Brazilian blowout, whatever you want to call it that if you use a shampoo with sulfates, it'll strip that from your hair, and so obviously I want that to last as long as possible. So I use a shampoo. It's really, really nice. It smells good. I think it's like $25 a bottle. Mm, it smells really good. But it works amazingly because a lot of anti, like, no-sulfate shampoos, I found that it doesn't wash my hair, and, like, my hair will be greasy after a couple days. Like, some of the cheaper ones, I just, like, did not feel like my hair was getting clean at all. So I really like this one, it's a really good product. And then for my conditioner, I use Pureology. This is the Thermal Anti-Fade Complex. Once again, it's like, what does that say, vegan, it's natural, no sulfates in this either. And it's perfect because I use a lot of heat styling, and so it's really, like, repairing. It smells really good too. I'm almost out of this. This is more expensive, this is like $28 a bottle, which is like, so expensive, and I just had to buy a new bottle, but... It's really worth it. I've noticed a really good difference in my hair. And then what I use for products is as soon as I get out of the shower, I put in, I usually put in a couple drops of Paul Mitchell's Super Skinny Serum, but I ran out of it on vacation and I like couldn't find it anywhere. <laughs> and so I picked up some of this, some like drugstore brand John Frieda Full Repair. And I actually like it so far. It protects ends and it has deep infusion restores silky full style with heat styling so of course anything that says that it'll be good with heat styling I like to use and says it has Inca Inchi oil I don't really know much about that but it makes my hair feel nice and it's a really thin serum so I feel like it's lighter on your hair it doesn't like goop it down so that's really good and then I once I do that I put my hair up in the towel and then I take it down and I comb it through and I part it like this and then I put on this Kevin Murphy staying alive just a couple sprays all over and then I comb that through again and then I blow dry my hair and to blow dry my hair I use this what does that even say? it's the Chi Pro low emission I don't know what that EMF anyways it goes like it has two speeds oh it's not plugged in oh well <laughs> it has two speeds and basically I just try to blow dry my hair as straight as I can. I'll show you guys in a couple seconds. And I use a round brush like this because it really helps get it like smoother than the straight brush. And now I'm just going to show you kind of a quick run through of how I straighten my hair. So. Alright, so once my hair starts to feel a little dry to the touch, and my roots are pretty much dry, I'll start using my round brush and just kind of pick up sections and blow it like this. So I'll just show you how that looks. <laughs> Alright, so after I'm done blow drying my hair, it looks something like this, and then I'm going to flat iron it. I use this flat iron. Let's give you a close up. 
It's called the T31 Pass. And it's really cute. It has like black with some pattern on here. I'm not going to touch this because I turned it on. You can see there's like the blinking pink light right there. That's how you tell it's on. And it has temperature control and I have it all the way up. I know, it's bad. It's 450 degrees. So that's why I love this is because since it has a higher temperature, you only have to use it uh, a little bit. Like you don't have to use it as much. And it has this really cute diamond detailing right here. And it's a really, really good flat iron. So I just turn this on, I let it heat up. <coughs> and then I take my hair and I section it. So I just take about the top half. So like this. And I swirl it up. I take one of these big pincher things. And I just put it right there. It doesn't have to be good. Just so that you get all the hair in there. Just so that you can have that nice separation. And then I take my handy dandy Revlon. <laughs> Just a big spiral brush that has both the hair ones, you know, like the boar's hair ones, and the plastic ones because that way you get more control. Just kind of comb it on out. And then once this heats up for a little bit, I usually start with the back. My hair is black, so it's kind of hard to see. And I just go over it pretty fast because I do like multiple things passes I guess you could call it and you just keep doing that until you get the desired straightness alright so after I'm done with the bottom layer you can see it's pretty straight and I'm done with my bangs because we can always go back and do those later they get a little funky sometimes for me they like curl weird. But then I'm just gonna take this little clippy thing out. Take just a regular straight brush. Comb through my hair. So soft. It feels so nice. Using all those products, like even if they're super expensive, it really pays off because literally like people are always like, oh my god, your hair probably feels like shit. Like you dye it all the time, you do all the chemical treatments even though they're supposed to be like good for your hair and like you straighten it every day how can your hair possibly feel so soft but if you take the time and you take the effort to do things right maybe pay a little extra money you can have really good results so I'm just gonna start on one side and finish off this top layer and I always like to do like a couple quick strokes and then one long stroke kind of get all the hair everywhere and it's pretty like different for each person once you like figure out where the special kinks in your hair are like over here I have a lot of trouble with like this hair staying straight because I don't know it's so thick right here but like once you learn the ways of your hair <laughs> it gets easier to straighten your hair so just find whatever techniques work for you All right. I'm going to finish off this side and I'll show you the finished product in a few. Alright, I'm just doing the finishing touches right now. And this is the finished product. This lighting is making me so washed out right now. But so basically, this is what my hair looks like. It's pretty straight. It gets straighter like as the day goes on and all like the hair settles down. I don't know if that makes sense. Or like if I sleep on it at night it gets straighter. So what I do to finish off this look is I just take some Garnier Fructis full control and I spray this on my brush. And I spray it on my brush because then your hair doesn't get so like sticky and straight and it still has movement but it just keeps the flyaways down. This is like a really good trick that I learned from reading 17. <laughs> couple years ago. So just spray it on, brush it through your hair, especially in parts where you want it to have extra hold like my bangs, I always do like an extra one. Just so that they keep their shape a little better. So my bangs always go pretty flat after a while. Alright. Give it a little touch and there you have it. That is how I do my hair. I really hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. I've been trying different 
hair products and stuff for a while so if you have a question about your particular hair or what you think would work best for you just let me know I can probably help you out thanks so much for watching bye guys